Good morning, this is Burnwaite, and I'm just going to play a little bit of PTU uh, version 2. Oh, I didn't want to go to Arena Commander. Get out of here. But anyway, I don't know why. I'm not paying attention to anything. Get back here. Go to Hangar. There we go. That's what I want. So, I've had, uh, you know, I've, what is it, the golden ticket and stuff back a long time ago, and I've been, you know, just watching Star Citizen for forever and ever. I bought the Aurora MR package so I could play Alpha and things like that, but I did not buy the Arena Commander package, so I haven't really been playing much. It was open for a little while before, but now they have the PTU up, so you can jump in without having the Arena Commander uh, package bought. I don't have any of the fancier ships, crazy stuff like that. Um, and I'm not in an org yet, although I am looking. But, oh, it's very dark in here. Where's my little life signs readout? I don't have my helmet on. So, let's head back here. And in the PTU, they have some really cool stuff. They have one area, is a, you can see, is this is like a, a shop area, and this is Port Olasar Crusader. You can click on this, you can actually also enter the code here. It's going to be probably cool. There's probably going to be like secret codes or private codes you can enter and stuff to go. But Port Olasar is, um, you know, just a little spaceport where you can requisition the ships you own. Or requisition, is that the right word? You can order, you're just kind of ordering them up so they show up on a launch pad, which is pretty neat. And then you can go and jump into hyperdrive or quantum warp or cruise warp and do missions and explore and basically it's just you know a bit of you know some open world kind of gameplay there's pirates to fight you can fight other people uh, outside of the port area and do neat things like that so we'll see if I get in it's it's not super stable um, but it's pretty stable I don't know no, I wouldn't say it's pretty stable it's not super stable but it is it's not terrible either and generally it, it works for a while like once you get in it'll work for quite a while um, in my experience anyway but I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna walk through the station and, and show you everything you may want to see about it or whatever and hopefully this will finish loading soon I'll just skip to the next part when it's finally loaded here we are Initializing, you wake up in your bunk. This is pretty neat. It's a little hole in the wall. But I guess space is at a premium on uh, space stations, so you can get back in bed. Get a little thermal blanket and stuff. And uh, what's this over here? Left some stuff on the floor. You got your little spaceship magazine, some toilet paper. <laughs> nice. I guess this is your toilet. Oh, these are very economy rooms, but you know, I'm a little Aurora pilot, so I guess I won't have a, you know, an admiral's quarters in the, <laughs> some food on the floor and stuff. In the space station. Oh, and it bro, crashed already. All right, let's. I'll load back in, jump back into the video when I can. Hey, we're back. We're back in, and you can see it's actually kind of cool. You have a different room, like my pillows over there, the magazines on the floor, just some beers. So I guess it's not the toilet. That was just another seat. The toilet's probably in here somewhere. What is that? Is that a tool. Anyway, let's see if we can get out of the room before we crash this time. There's bathrooms and stuff. All the modern amenities. Hips power up so the hab habitation exit like all these rooms are little spawn points and stuff which are pretty cool so we're just gonna go down here to the there's the, the cool little ship room it's a bit I get a bit um laggy on my FPS today it's usually not this bad I don't know I've been having a bit of a trouble connecting oh come on open the door doesn't want me to Oh. I can just clip through it. Nope, it's not letting me. Why can't I get in there over here? Use. You have forgotten how to use. You can see my body is undamaged. In the lower right there, it's my heart rate's working. It's pretty cool. A lot of detail. What's wrong with you though? What was that? Let me go around the other side. You can see all the signs to the landing pads and stuff. It's actually really cool because like you get your ship and it's like it's gonna be on landing pad A4. And it doesn't uh what's it called? Hmm. Maybe the server's not all the way up. Yeah, there's no ships out there. I can't see anyone. 
But yeah, and then so you have to just follow the signs to A4, which is pretty cool. Um, it's not just like a HUD or a line, although that wouldn't break immersion really because it's the super future, but let's see here. If I can get in this side. Don't think so. I'm locked out of the ship spawn room. I'll just go outside real quick and take a look. This works nice. Cycling the airlock. I think I'm wearing my spacesuit. Got my helmet on and stuff. Oops. So we can go to landing pad, you know, there's A5 and 6. So we can go out here and take a look. And we're in kind of like a gravity bomb too. There's the Jeez, what was that? There's those windows we were looking at before. Uh, and weapons are disabled in this area. But I don't know, I think it's really cool. Like, look at this level. Like, you have the glass and the windows and the spaceship spawn out here. You can watch people request their ships and fly away and stuff. And this is a, like a no PvP zone, but if you get far enough away, you can shoot each other um, or warp to other things, all that kind of cool stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'll go back inside real quick here. Shh. A lot of sound. Oh, there's someone else. You can't get in either. So he's probably seeing if I can get in. Nope. So I'm going to pause here. I'll, I'll come back in a little bit once I can get inside the room and actually get a ship. But it seems there's a lot of people able to log in now. It's just not working. So, I'll see you in a moment. Hey, we're back. I still can't get into the ships, but I just wanted to show you some cool space stuff going on. So you can run around outside. I'm actually outside the airlock again. You know, there's the, the glass to look inside. Um, and there's a platform over there. I've never been over there, but this is cool. So here, I'm just out on the platform here, and I'm going to run for short. I want to show you something cool. I don't know what that was. Let's jump off the edge, and we're in space. Looks like someone's shooting at me. What the heck is going on? Had a little bit of downward velocity from uh what's it called? What is that? But we can see here. The dude's pretty good at turning around. You have the little control jets and stuff. So I'm going to go drop over to this side and see if I can get into the other uh, control center. I don't know, it's just really cool with like the local gravity volume and you just jump off the edge and suddenly you can fly. Got my little controls. There is no up. Let's see what happens if I land upside down. Let's come over, come over here. Now we're going to drop upside down. Is it going to flip me around? <laughs> nope, nope, don't fall in yet. I want to get up by the windows here. Oh, those aren't windows. Those are the windows. Let's go over here. Let's go say hi to somebody inside. If there is anyone over here. I don't know, I think everyone was spawning at the other other spot. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, there's no one in here. Uh-oh. I guess they just flip you up. Okay. I got a little too close to the building and they said, no more floating, sir. Will do. I understand. Sounds like there's some kind of ship combat going on somewhere. So, this game is much easier to play in first person. I think both like ship flying and all that stuff, which is cool. I like games that are more designed for that. And it's got an immersive experience. Eventually, when this comes out... Pad tw oh, they said Pad 20 in the uh, thing. The console's running. Nice! So that's what you gotta do. You just gotta float over to the other console when um, everything's broken. <laughs> Let's see, we're gonna take out... Uh, I do have the Merlin too. I'm gonna take out the Aurora. The Merlin's cool, but if you like hit an asteroid, you die like right away. So I'm gonna request the AR, the MR. And head over there. So very nice.
I like that. So we're at landing pad. I was just typing some message in Discord. So our landing pad do one. So I guess I was on a uh, platform alpha before. So we're gonna set over here. So we're going to D1. We're in section D. Um, man, my frames are a little funky today. But whatever. So just follow the signs to D. Landing strut one. I do not know what is going on with my frame rate. It is falling apart. These open? Oh. Things are I guess it's lagging a little bit on the server. Whatever. This is a player this is a player test universe. This isn't you know, this is very alpha and this is like this is like the test thread of the alpha. So I'm on one D one, here we go. I'm gonna head out here and one and there's my ship. Very cool. This is just a one seater. So we're gonna hop in here. I gotta go around the other side. This is the MR, this has the laser guns on it, which is nice because there's the um, I forget what the, the cheapest variant I don't know if it's the cheapest variant, but there is a variant that has only um, projectile weapons, which isn't that great because then you run out of ammo. So we'll just climb up in here. So I guess A Alpha is locked so we're gonna head up here and I'm gonna use my seat it's a little bit of a delay here the servers were working awesome um, yesterday I don't know what changed today let me just grab my joystick and we're gonna head into the pilot seat here so I'm gonna do to uh, nothing right now Enjoy the my ride. ship's starting up Welcome to so let's see Industries. if Enjoy the I can and check. hit the home key. So, oh, Take they just kicked me right off, huh? Gear raised. Radar contact. So let's see. Let's go down to here. Uh, this is my shield. The, the MR only has a single shield, so uh, I'm gonna go here. I cannot influence this with the um, the mouse. I don't know how to change the. Uh, you can actually reduce your signature by reducing your power output. And this is what you know. If you can drag this little uh, turned off a bunch of stuff. Or maybe if you can click on this, you can. There you go. So G1 is max um, weapons, shields, and engines. So I'm gonna try and keep it in the middle. The slider bars aren't working really well either, but the ship's a bit shaky. Let me see uh, what is going on here. But yeah, you can manipulate all the stuff from the HUD, the cannons, and your weapons groupings and things. So let me take myself off the um, thing. Oh, and the the yaw and pitch are a little messed up for the. Let's see here. Where's the launch pad I got off? There's somebody. There's a constellation. So I what I how I play is I have the Logitech Logitech um, what's it called joystick and I use that and the keyboard at the same time. I think that's the best setting. So we're just gonna hit. Oh whoa, whoa, whoa! Did not want to do that. Crap! I already damaged my ship and I'm dead. Oh man, that was bad. <laughs> All right, after I finish saying <laughs> how wonderful the oh man, that was rough. Now I'm stuck. Ow, oh, crap. Come on. There we go. Reinitializing. Now I'm stuck inside the door. Oh, my MR is still outside. Kind of. I'll never be able to. Oh, and I just clipped out of the, uh, the bed. Kind of. There's some toilet paper. Yeah, I'm stuck. Let's use the bed. Let's see if we can use the bed and get back in. There we go. <laughs> I'm getting out or something. Get up, dude. Let's see if we can, um, what's it called? Trigger the door. If not, I'm going to have to leave and come back in. Why am I crawling? What? Happened. Oh my gosh. 
I don't know what's going on. So, okay. Let me... Um, let me quit out and I'm going to come back in again. And I'll cut the video to there. Haha, -ha, I'm back in a ship. So they auto launch you when you get in your ship first here. So let me just let me go to the HUD overview. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to hit landing mode. I'll go back to weapons mode. Let's just take off. Radar contact. There we go. Landing gear raised. So I'm just going to roll around here. Oh. My, uh, my movement is very limited right now. I don't know. Oh, I didn't want to roll. The roll and yaw keys are all mixed up. They're, like, different for, like, sta I don't know, like, who made them, but the axes are all wrong all the time. Make me angry. Here we go. We're just going to take off over here. So we're going to go into... I want to go into regular mode, so I'm just going to keep my throttle at max. And for slowing down, I use the space brake, and then I can keep my left hand on, uh, what's it called? The thrusters? Not those. Things are, stuff is responding really slow. It's kind of wacky. Alright. So that's our coupled decoupled mode. And I cannot get the... Whoa, come on. No, nothing's working. Let's see if I can change my flight mode. No, that's not doing it. SCM pre. SCM pre. Okay, there's multiple flight modes where you can be able to use the, um, like, go cruise speed. And then there's like the normal engagement speed, and then there's like a slow Impeaching docking speed. Landing mode. No, I don't want Impeaching landing mode. Weapons mode. Yeah, that's what I want. Now I can't see any of the uh radar contact. Radar contact. Stand by. Scanning. Yeah, there's not a single uh ship out here. Let me do my throttle here. I have a few contacts over here, but there's absolutely nothing I can do. I usually usually able to quantum jump. I don't know what's going on today. It got really weird today. As opposed to yesterday. It was actually working kind of smooth. Which is unfortunate and sad, but whatever. So we'll just try and head away from the station here and see if we can get into our There we go. That says time to cruise ten. So when you're in cruise mode, see it says cruise SCM. So when you're in cruise mode, I don't know, I've never done this in the Aurora, but you should be able to do like cruise jump and then there's quantum warp and they're both different speeds. Like the quantum warp is like the faster one. Cruise is like, I guess, local area warp or something. I don't know. So now I'm in the arms, out of the arms to zone so we can shoot people. I don't have any kind of locks. So let's go here. So we're going. In. How fast are we going now? We're getting a lot of speed. 960. We're maxed out. So I'm going to go back to SCM. We're slowing way down. Radar contact. Flare away. No, I don't want flares. Radar contact. Stand by. Scanning. Map. Come on. So my juice safe and comm stab is off, but now my coupling is off. I don't know why everything is moving so dang slow. You can see the station back there. Let me put the uh, 
couple of back. Yeah, it's already back on. So I should be slowing down. I don't know why. Oh gosh. Why is my dude blacking out? I guess I'm going really fast and I'm even these slight course corrections. It's because I'm going backwards when I pull up. It's actually negative G's, which make you sicker much faster. All right, so let's slow down here. I cannot get into. Let's ask in local chap. Come on, buttons. Oh, there we go. Haha. <laughs> So let's head out to a com array. Quantum drive is now on. Spooling up our quantum drive. Engaged. So we're gonna warp in here, and there's probably quantum drive is now off. Quantum drive is now off. So the quantum drive is off. So I'm gonna head out at max here. We're coupled. I'm gonna take off G safe and com stab. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to engage some enemy service. So there's security here and they're fighting pirates, but they always say they have the situation handled, but then they don't. So, and you can see in the in the HUD on my left, it's actually pretty cool over here. The my IR and signature, the ambient and the EM signature. And those, you know, those um, have to do with, what's it called? Like, um, how well an enemy can detect you and you can actually shut off your engines and stuff. Stand by. There we Stand go, pirate. Radar contact. We're gonna head in here and try and wreck him. Let's slow down a little bit. Woo! You little pirate shit. Right, I'm gonna catch back up. I let him get way too far away. I think I might should use the uh, velocity matching on this. Come on, get the shields down. Whoa! That was <laughs> that was bad. All right, there he is. I knocked him out too, though. That's no big deal. Oh, come on! I'm using my my thrusters here to maneuver around him. No, oh, come on, there we go. He's a bit slow. This handles a lot differently than the arena commander with the vandal swarms and stuff. Ooh, there he goes. Why did my throttle drop? There we go. Oh, who? Get back up there. I'm gonna hit M and do a velocity match. Hopefully that'll keep me a little bit closer to him. It's a bit buggy today. There we go. He does not like that. He's pretty good at dodging. Hello, come on, come on. Now you can see his velocity is much lower than what I was moving at. That's why I was overshooting him so much. Uh oh. Frame rate's dropping. Inbound missile. Come on, give me the uh, flare. Away. Flare. Missile evaded. Excellent. I almost forgot what button it was. I've just been playing this a whole bunch. The PTU has me all excited. Come on. Come on. Okay, I lost him. Let me get my speed back up here. It's happening. No, I won't cruise. Uh oh, my throttle is kind of wonky. Oh, I shut off couple mode. That's what was wrong with me. Come on, get it together, man. This <laughs> I'm having issues. It's difficult to re record, play new content, and pilot a spaceship at the same time. So I'm at max speed right now. I should catch up and help out the uh, locals a little bit. 
I actually saw I disabled one of these pirate ships the other day. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Oops. And I was trying to get in it, but the game froze. Whoa, hello. Come on. Flare away. Oh, those good old flares. My shields are pretty high right now. Come on. And one of the one of the important things you gotta do is uh what's it called? When you're piloting, you wanna actually pull up because your pilot can actually handle the up g-forces, like positive g-forces, a lot better than negative g-forces. Like the negative g-forces are when everything turns red and you pass out, and you can handle... nice. Got one. So let me boost my, uh, where is this guy at? Oh, he's pretty close. So we're playing over here. I'm gonna hit up... nope, you are not... Oop, yep, yeah, see. I was using some maneuvering thrusters there when I was trying to turn them around and got a little bit of the negative G forces going. And those are much more dangerous for their pilot, so. And this Aurora only has uh, energy weapons. And the thing about the energy weapons is they're completely stopped by shields, but they also do much, much more to hold damage than projectile weapons. And the projectile weapons pierce shields, but they do a lot less damage to the hull, which is a cool combination. I'm gonna go down. I wanna try and stay on him. I'm trying to anticipate his movements with my thrusters while matching his velocity. I think I might speed up a little bit to get closer. Whoa! Come back over, bro. There we go. Negative, negative. Get in. Okay, I'm going to have to keep my throttle a little higher. I'd rather overshoot him and hit space break than be as far away as I have been. Whoa, come on, space break on the space bar. There we go. I can really use some support. The Aurora is not a hardcore gunship, but I think I can take out one pirate. I think. I may already took out one, but... Let's see. Come here, you. Yeah, the next time I buy a ship, it's gonna be with in-game money. I do not have the cash for... Ooh, hello, hello! Pull up! There we go, nice! Blacking out. Oh, hold on. Alright, there we go. That was close. Maneuvering thrusters for the win. Uh-oh. Frame rate drop. I'm gonna try not to black out here. I'm gonna get back over to this guy. Whoop! No, blacking out. I don't think I was pointing at the space station. It should not collide. There we go. Alright. My, my pilot needs a little bit of time to recover. Whoosh! Here we go. Here, here, here we go. Come on. Come back. Get away from that space station. That thing is dangerous, man. Barrel roll! Uh, I wish there were some friendlies around. There we go. Lower my throttle a little bit. Not that much. Jeez. Alright. I'm in. He's engaging someone else. Which is good for me. Really get some hits now. He's hurt though. I can't wait until we can rebind keys. I think there's a way to do it, but it's not like an in-game way. 
It's like hacking around the config files or something. Now I'm gonna have to use my maneuvering thrusters. Hopefully I don't black myself out doing this. Weapons system oh! damaged. Crap, I lost Radar a cannon. Contact. Stand by, scan him. Dang it. I might not be able to get in here and do this. Radar contact. Stand by, scan him. Come through here. I'm gonna slow down a little. Stand by for shields. Man, I really wrecked my weapon there. That wasn't good. So let me see. Where's the entry to these things? I'm gonna hope. I'm hoping this guy is gonna. What's it called? Be distracted long enough. Where I can get in here. I do not see the entry to these comrades. I've seen the video where they've done it, but. Let me see here. Can I target it somehow? Let's go to landing mode. Landing mode automated. No targets. Manual. Nope. Engaging weapons mode. Okay, we're gonna turn back out of here. Use a little bit of thrusters and head back up along the station. I know there's an entry in here somewhere. I might be upside down with regards to the station with how they always show it in the videos, but we'll see. Oh, there it is. There it is. So this is the Radar challenge here. Stand by. Scanning. A little bit of speed here. Now the question is, can I even get out of the Aurora? Oh, slow down. Stop yourself. There we go. Get out of the Aurora. Oh, I just turned the lights off. Oh, here we go. Alright, shut the ship off or something. No, I'm getting out. Alright, I did it. I don't know which button it was. It was delayed. It was hitting stuff. So I'm going to be able to get out of here and... Let's see, let's make sure I use the door, not the bed or something like that. This stuff is ish having problems here. So I'll step out and hope everything doesn't explode. So I'm zero G rank. Uh oh, uh oh, oh come on! Not now. You froze. Oh. <laughs> well this is about to be the cool part where I do my EVA while I leave my ship outside and go do the, the mission, but we appear to have crashed. Unfortunately. But one day I'll I'll have a video where I actually do something. I don't know, we need more more updates, so I'll go see if I can make some bug reports. Perhaps I'll reference this video or something. I don't know. Good times. Uh hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Uh if you play Star Citizen and and anyone who does probably knows a whole lot more than me, you know, give me some pointers or something. Let me know what I'm doing. Because I sure don't. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know. Leave a comment. And until the next video, have fun.